I have a bunch of different blue paints and I, whenever I come to squeeze out the paint and want a blue, I never know exactly which one I should use. It's all a bit guesswork. So today I decided that I would have a look and see what the difference was between the different blues. So I've got cerulean blue, this is ultramarine blue, I've got cobalt blue, um, anthraquinone blue, teal, I do actually, I can uh, see the difference between teal, um, and I threw in Payne's grey as well because that's a bluey sort of grey. So here I am putting out cerulean, ultramarine, cobalt and anthraquinone. And I want to see what the difference is in the colours and I want to see how they mix as well with the other blues. And then I thought I would make, uh, just sort of play around with the blues and, and make a painting. Um, just in blue, just to see how they mix together, how they work together, the opacity, the transparency, how they work building up layers and just sort of experiment with the blues. So here they are, that's all the different blues and now I'm mixing, this is cerulean mixed with um, ultramarine, this is ultramarine mixed with cobalt and this is cobalt mixed with anthraquinone and anthraquinone mixed with teal and then teal mixed with Payne's Grey. So the first three are quite similar really. Um, uh, the cerulean is definitely sort of a, a more sky blue, it's a lighter sort of blue. Ultramarine is that sort of deep, quite a bright blue. The cobalt is sort of lighter again. But, um, and the anthraquinone is a sort of a deep, that's a much darker blue as well. So I'm sort of experimenting here with um, painting them on, painting the colours on and playing around with opacity so that in some parts they are going to be quite thick and in other parts I want to see the paint sitting on top and, and see the paper through it and, and see the transparency of the paint. And I'm just sort of playing now um, to see how I can build up these, these colours. The other thing I want to do is to look at differences in terms of edges. Um, so I want to see where I can get quite sharp edges. Thick paint on top of thin paint, um, dark against light, uh, thin paint um, or dark thin paint on top of lighter thin paint, sort of just experimenting and seeing what will happen. So I'm using the side of the brush just to spread the, spread the paint over and this is transparent thin, um, looks like the uh, Payne's grey going over that one. And what I'm, what I'm discovering as I'm doing this is that you can get a lovely depth as you bring one paint over the top of another, especially if, if it's kind of um, transparent. This one here is opaque, there's a lot of white in that. But look at the layers and look at the way that you can look through the paint to the colours underneath. And I love the sitting uh, um, transparent layer over the top of an opaque layer. It just sort of really floats on top beautifully. Okay, so I'm just sort of looking at those edges now, trying to have sharp edges, you know, sort of quite defined edges and then soft edges. All done with just blue. Quite an experiment this. So softening those edges and then keeping them sharp and allowing the paint to sort of do its thing really. So this was a bit of flat paint at the top and now I'm sort of trying to create some definition in around that with an edge of a darker a darker blue. And I'm sort of now looking at little shapes, creating little shapes with 
my brush. Adding just some water and bringing the colour shaper in to just spread that water around and see what it does with the paint. Okay, looking for some definition here and creating shapes with that edge of the paint. It's amazing the depth that you can build up just by varying the opacity and the translucency of the paint. Looking through and allowing the paint to sort of swim over the layers and underneath makes really lovely effects. Sometimes we make shapes with stencils and the very hard edge but it's actually lovely to have these loose floaty shapes as well and this is what I'm sort of exploring here. This is bringing the teal over the top of the cobalt. Light against dark, hard edge, soft edge, and now bringing in that looks like the cobalt there. And now I'm going to bring in some quite thick paint create sort of an edge, a shape, just see what happens underneath that colour shaper. So look at the depth of all these blues, really gorgeous, I've really enjoyed doing this experiment. I think I've accidentally created a little bit of heaven. I love it, beautiful.